What's going on? Ryan Troy back with another video for you today. And in this video, I want to go over the importance of lighting. Sometimes we get caught up on buying all of the expensive lighting and modifiers, and we think that's what we need to make a great shot. Well, in this video, I'm actually just going to use a Godox V1 and an AD200 for a little bit of the shots towards the end. Now, I want to go over the location. This shoot was extremely last minute and um, the model had a friend that worked at an apartment complex and he allowed us to use one of the modeling homes or the modeling apartments that was available for rent. So there was no furniture in it or anything. Now, we chose to shoot in the bathroom based on conversations and reference photos that we showed each other. And the theme was like a bathroom shoot. Well, little did we both know this bathroom was very basic and was very small, but it was OK. We were still able to get all of the shots that we needed to using a Godox V1 and an AD200. Now, if you see the bathroom, you'll see that it was extremely tiny. So getting the light stand was kind of impossible and a soft box that would really give me the soft light that I need was impossible on getting in there as well. So I had to work with what I had. I chose to use this friction magic arm to hold up my V1 on the shower rod. Sometimes you really have to work with what you have. Now with this one that I use, you could put things like a V1 on there, a AD200, possibly even the ad 300 but i also have a manfrotto one that can hold larger lights that i use with the ad 600 and a modifier on it it is extremely heavy duty now let's go to the two options that i had i key the face the flash head towards the model which would give off a harsh light now if you was going for that then maybe you would stop right here it gives off more of a on camera flash with the shadows and you can see it right here. Now, my second option was to turn the flash head towards the wall. Now, since the wall was white and huge, it gave off a softbox type of feel. The whole wall turned into my softbox. Now, look at this image. If you look in her eyes and see the catch light, you can see exactly what the wall was doing. Now, let me bring up the old image or the first image. Look at her catch light. You see how small it was? This was from the direct flash. After this, we moved into taking photos with the door crack. Now, I moved my light to a towel rack that was behind the door and used the same friction arm. But for this, I needed to bring another light in because since that light was behind the door, I needed a light to kind of bounce off the wall, hit the door and then give her a little splash in her face. Right here, you could really see the catch light in her eyes. Now here I decided to go with some bounce flash. This is what it looked like with all of the lights on. This is what it looks like with the bounce flash. Well, there you have it. I hope this really opened your mind as far as shooting in small spaces and bouncing light and all of the equipment and gadget you can use to put your light in different positions when you don't have that much space. I hope you like this video and everything that I mentioned before will be linked down below. Let me not forget that. But until next time,
Peace.